Hello, today is Monday, the 6th of October, 2008, and this is Brian Shannon from alphatrends.net. Uh, we had a uh, very volatile session here once again today, and the S&P 500 closed down 4.4%, but to me it felt like a, a big up day, um, and I'll show you why in a moment here. Uh, first of all, let's take a look at this uh, monthly time frame we've been looking at. On Friday, it said that basically there's just a lack of confidence in this market, and uh, it looks like the head market was headed towards a minimum of this two-thirds retracement level that we've been watching from the 2002 lows up to 2007 highs. Well, that level was uh, 108, and as I said, it looked like a minimum of that level. We actually made it down intraday to, uh, let's see what this low was. The low today was 100.64. So we had a huge volatility, and this again shows that these uh, Fibonacci levels, potential levels of support, moving averages, and all that are good analysis tools but they're not a reason to buy the only reason to ever buy is when price action tells you so and uh, you know on the daily time frame we still have a horrible horrible decline here I'm not convinced that the worst is over yet but uh, there was an, a very powerful rally here uh, that we had seen at the end of the day and obviously uh, hopefully you're, you're starting to come to the realization that a lot of these rallies occur during a bear market but you can't trust them as long as the moving averages are heading lower. So today's action, we saw a gap lower and just continued bleed off right up until late in the afternoon. Then you saw these last hour on this 30 minute time frame that those last two candles were significantly higher. Um, uh, the price action was significantly higher off those lows. So if we take a look now uh, at the 10 minute time frame, Friday we saw the market declined uh, after rallying up to its uh, rising, uh, declining five day moving average. That's where the uh, federal government came in with their package. They couldn't uh, save the market, just as I don't think an interest rate cut will. But uh, let's let's uh, you know I'll try to leave my opinions at the door and trade based on what we're seeing in 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 price action only. Right now, you know the market got very deeply sold off. Perhaps we rally up to the first level of potential uh, resistance, which is this prior support up near 111. Uh, I see right now uh, in the aftermarket uh, we're down at 105. Uh, well, below 105. So, uh, it, you know, again, I, I had shown on the blog that it looked like this rally was real right around in here is where I said that. Uh, you can see right here we're live, that's where we are, 104.85. Um, but I still don't trust it for anything more than a day trade. There's been some fantastic trading opportunities. The market was declining all day. We got back to that five day of that VWAP, made these higher lows and rallied. But uh, here we are again selling off in the after hours. So you got to keep your power or dry in order to be able to really take advantage of these opportunities as the market presents them to us. Gold was up $1.69 as far as the GLD goes on the daily time frame. Looks like maybe this 50-day moving average, which is still declining though, and shows that the risks aren't completely out of the way for gold, but we're seeing a more neutral market. We saw some buyers rush in there, which would have made sense with a you know panic uh, scenario here today. Now let's see if this five-day moving average can flatten out. Support should be found found down near about 83.25. Uh, breaking below that, then I think maybe there's uh, further weakness coming in gold, but uh, uh, oil as well, that was also down. New lows in there. So, uh, you know, again, these rallies you know, can can really get you emotionally thinking, hey, that's it, here we go. Uh, but there, they should only be considered trades against the primary trend, which again is clearly lower for oil, clearly lower for the S&P 500, for the IWM, etc. We saw that the, the Russell 2000 had broken its important support level that had been uh, important basically pretty much all year at 64. We saw that break last Thursday, and uh, looking at the uh, weekly time, frame you can see that level a little bit more clearly uh, perhaps uh, you know we well we'd seen a test of the uh, 2005 lows right here and again on the monthly time frame what we were looking at was the potential for uh, this uh, pattern to be uh, completed which uh, is in a head and shoulders pattern which would ultimately bring us down towards these lows here uh, near about fifty dollars a share you know the 2004 lows doesn't mean that's where it will go or that's where it's a good buy but it just makes sense that it can continue lower um, and it, it, it's good to see that this level at least was defended for a day uh, in, in the uh, in the Russell 2000 but uh, you know here we saw a, a big rally at the end of the day in here but it is again guilty till proven innocent if you're nimble enough
enough, then you can you know go ahead and take uh, take participation in in these rallies. But again, I need to stress over and over again because I get flooded with emails that say, "Was that the bottom? That might be the eventual bottom." You know, if you look at uh, you know the economy and that sort of thing, I'm not convinced. But uh, let's just listen to price action. Markets correct either through price and then through time, and you know we're, we're going to get a lot of people leaving this market. Uh, a lot of people who've been involved in this market just don't trust it anymore, um, and 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 it's going to take a, a while for that confidence uh, in our financial system to heal again. So uh, just err to the side of caution. It's what's served well all year long. Don't succumb to greed. Greed is what got this whole system turned upside down. And if you can remain nimble and man risk you can do very well in a, in a uh, uh, volatile environment like like we're seeing uh, right now obviously the financials were down 73 cents uh, the big talk there is that the uh, uh, they're going to be able to be shorted once again uh, but people are thinking that uh, the government will uh, likely extend that uh, ban uh, you know this it's just a big mess it, the path of the primary trend is lower it's guilty till proven innocent there's really no reason to get involved in financials Finally, Finally, let's take a look at the NASDAQ 100. The NASDAQ, I posted this on the blog as well, that uh, let's just change the scaling in here, that this market had gotten down to the uh, the 61.8% uh, retracement level, pretty much tagged it almost on, you know, exactly on that level, and did find some support in there. And, 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 and that was part of the reason I was looking for buyers to come into the market. And, uh, you know, here, what we see is that the uh, you know in a one minute time frame it rallied up to that VWAP kind of held around in there sharp rally pull back it acted support and uh, rally back up again it's right now trading at 34.51 so uh, maybe we see a little bit of weakness in the morning perhaps test these lows as Art Cashin is saying and then we see a real rally but uh, whatever uh, the, whatever you believe uh, you know get ready to change your opinion quickly because price action is very quick in here and uh, realistically you, you know if you're if you're not able to change your opinion quickly uh, when when the market is this volatile then then you're gonna get run over basically in either direction if you're taking uh, large bets so uh, just continue to be uh, very careful